Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. So in this lecture we will start understanding what is view equivalence and view serializability. Okay. So we have understood what is result equivalence, what is conflict equivalence, okay, and now we will understand what is view equivalence. So two schedules are said to be view equivalent when they follow certain conditions. So what are the conditions? Let's write it down. So two schedules are said to be view equivalent if they follow following conditions. Okay. So what are the conditions? We have three conditions that for each data item, for each data item, first read should be performed by same transaction. Okay. So if let's say I have data item X, okay, then if for schedule S1, transaction T1 is performing first read on X, okay, then in schedule S2 also transaction T1 should perform first read on X, okay, first read. So whoever is performing first read in schedule S1, that should only perform first read in schedule S2, okay. So this is what we mean by saying first line. We will just un understand this with an example. Now last write. So whoever the transaction which performs last write in schedule S1, the same transaction should perform last write in S2, okay. And now this is producer consumer sequence should be maintained. So let's say if I have for a schedule if transaction T1 this is T2. So if a data item X is written here by transaction T1 and then it is read by transaction T2. Okay. So here this is right read. Okay. Producer consumer. Okay. So if this is the sequence T1 followed by T2 for X then in other schedule also transaction T1 should produce X and then T2 should read X. Okay. So this should be the sequence. Fine. So better we understand this with an example. Now here we have two schedules and in this schedules we have two transactions in each schedule. Okay. Now let's check for view equivalence for both the schedule. Okay. So what is the first condition we have to check whether for each variable the transaction which is performing first read is same or not in both the schedules. So let's say if we talk about variable A, let's check who is performing first read in this schedule. So we, we can see that transaction transaction T1 performing first read here. Okay. So for A, T1 is performing first read. Okay. And here also we can see that for S2 also transaction T1 is performing first read. Okay. T1 is performing first read. Now, who is performing first write? Okay. So for transaction A, last write. Of course, we have to check last write. So if we check for A, T2 is performing last write on A. Okay, so here it is T2 for last write. This is first read. This is last write. Okay, now here if we check on, on variable A who is performing last write. So you can see that this is last write on variable A and being performed by T2. Okay, so in both the schedules, first read is performed by same transaction sec and last write is also performed by same transaction okay similarly let's check for b for variable b also first read is being performed by transaction t transaction t1 okay so t1 here also first read is, read is performed by transaction t1 so t1 now last write if we check on b it is performed by t2 here also it is performed by T2. Fine. So far so good. Now the last condition which we have to check is producer consumer situation. Okay. So if 
let's find out for variable a is there any producer consumer situation so here you can see that this a is produced that is written and b reads the value so this is producer consumer and t1 is producing t2 is reading okay so for a t1 followed by t2 fine so let's then find out in transaction s2 schedule s2 here also you can see that this is performing right on a transaction t1 and here it is reading okay so again the order is t1 t2 so for schedule s2 also we have t1 followed by t2 fine for variable a we have checked now let's check for variable b so do we have any producer consumer situation for variable b yes we have here b is written by transaction t1 and then b is read by transaction t2 okay so it is t1 followed by t2 for s1 schedule and here also it is written okay b is written and then b is read here so it is t1 followed by t2 so t1 followed by t2 right so you can see that everything is same all the three conditions are met so this s1 and s2 are view equivalent so we can say that schedule schedule s1 and s2 are view equivalent okay so i hope you understand this if you have any doubt go to the doubt section on tech2.com and ask your doubt we will be happy to answer thanks for watching